that's my date. Tell him I am not home. Why don't you tell him? <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> I am not home. Then is it okay if I wait? <laughs> If my mixed up at the hospital theory is correct, I'd say we just found Kelly's natural brother. So, just where were you while I was wasting my life away with my family? Well, I wanted to get you something nice. Garfield spoils the picnic. That crazy cat gets into everything from the potato salad to the sack races. <laughs> Boys ever brought me literature before. <laughs> well, my family believes, say it with words. <laughs> I just have to get my bag. Oh, by the way, this is my mom and uh, the troll that lives under our house. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you. And, uh, excuse me, sir, I was just wondering. Doesn't it get lonely under the house? <laughs> Not when you have a bell and a hat. <laughs> Hi, I'm Peggy. And I know what you're thinking. How could a woman barely out of high school herself possibly be the mother to a teenage daughter? <laughs> Actually, I was wondering if we had trolls under my building. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I hear noises. My dad says it's the pipes, but now I wonder. Look, I am not a troll. I am a boy, you idiot. <laughs> I just poured through my record collection, literally. <laughs> uh, hi, Mr. Bundy. Vinny. Vinny Verducci, Charlie's boy. Peg, you remember Charlie. Charlie, you met him at our wedding. Oh, yes. A lovely man. When you see your father, ask him if he's done with my mother's cigarette lighter. <laughs> in defense of your father, she was bending over and he might have thought that, you know, someone had left it in the folds of a couch. <laughs> but you ought to start hanging around with this guy. The girls can't keep their hands off him. <laughs> what brings you here? He's taking Kelly out. <laughs> Touch her and I'll hang you with your own colon. <laughs> Hey, Kel, come here. Five bucks says this guy won't even touch you. You're on. No guy has ever gone out with me and not touched me. <laughs> Vinny, I'm ready. 